Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the force P needed to pull the 50 kilogram roller over the smooth step. Take uh, the theta is equal to 30 degrees. Okay, guys, this problem is really easy, so let's just draw the free body diagram. First, we have the weight of the roller going down right at the center. And you know that the weight is equal to the mass times the acceleration of gravity. Okay, the mass is given as 50 kilograms and the acceleration of gravity is 9.81. Now, we have a reaction, FB, F of B. We can see we have a reaction right here. Let's call it the normal. And we have B and we have the angle theta. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that it's the problem is asking for the force needed to pull it over the smooth step. To pull it over the smooth step, that means that at the point where you're going to be pulling it over with enough force in P, the normal is going to be equal to zero. The last thing is we have an angle right here. And this angle, I'm going to call it phi. So let me redraw this part. I'm going to redraw the triangles a little bigger to make some sense of them. So this is a, this is the center of the roller over. Okay. And this is the angle I just told you about called phi. And you got the smooth step right here. This is the step. And we got this triangle right here. And we this triangle can be divided into two triangles. And I'm going to call this points A. I'm going to call this point right here B. This point right here C. And this point right here, I'm going to call it D. And we know from right here that the distance from C to D is equal to 0 0.05 meters, which is 50 millimeters converted into meters. We also know that the radius of the roller over is 300 meters. I mean, sorry, 300 millimeters or 0.3 meters. So the radius is 0.3 meters. But the radius is, so, is also equals from A to C. Now, if we wanted to find this angle phi, we could say that the cosine of phi is given by AD over AB. AD being from here to here. And AB being the hypotenuse of the triangle. This is some basic trigonometry. But we know that AD is equal to AC minus DC, which is this distance right here is the same as AC if you subtract this part, which is CD. So we're going to replace that in our equation and we have that AC minus DC over AB is equal to cosine of phi. And now we can solve for phi and we have that the cosine inverse of AC minus DC, which is 0.3 minus 0.05 all over 0.3 again is equal to phi. And if we solve for phi, we're going to get that this is equal to 33.56 degrees. Now that we have that angle, we can do the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero. Now what does that tell you? That the weight which is going down is negative plus the force p times the sine of 30 which is theta right here, which is basically the vertical component of the speed. That is my ice maker. Sorry about that. Now, 
we have a horizontal component of P that we're going to use later, but this is the vertical component. So P sine of 30 plus F the vertical component of the reaction AB, which is F of B cosine of E. And we also have plus the normal, but we know that the normal is equal to zero at the point where we're lifting the roller over. So that's it. This is one of our equations. We're going to call it equation one. Now, sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero. Now, in the x, we have the x component of the p force, which is minus p, because it's going to the left, cosine of 30, plus the horizontal component of the normal at b, the fb force, which is f of b sine of phi. Now, we can, phi is equal to, let me just write it down, minus p cosine of 30 plus f of b sine of phi, which we already found, which is 33.56. Now, if we solve for f of b in terms of p, we get that f of b is equal to p cosine of 30 divided by sine of 33.56 f of b is equal to 1.566 p. Let's call this equation 2. And yeah, this is pretty much it because we can plug in equation 2 into equation 1. And for the weight, we know that it's the mass times the acceleration of gravity, which is 50 times 9.81, which is equal to 490.5 newtons. So we plug that into for W, then for F of B, we plug into 1.56p and we get that 0 is equal to minus 490.5 which is oops 490.5 which is w plus sine of 30 times p which is 0.5p plus f of b times the cosine of phi which is 33.56 also plug in phi right here and you multiply that by 1.56 1.566p and you should get that this is equal to 1.305p so you solve for p by adding these two together and then solving for p and you get that p is equal to 271.75 newtons and this is the force needed for P to roll over the smooth step. Now, if they ask you also for F of P, it's pretty easy. Just plug this into equation two right here. And you should get that F of B is equal to 425.56 Newtons. So final answer for P, final answer for the normal at 